Liverpool Football Club has a great affinity with the Football League Cup in whatever guise it comes under. Tonight they look for a third semi-final in the last five years, but they have been handed the most difficult of ties if they are to reach the last four. Southampton away is a daunting game for anyone these days. Tadic. Bertrand is the man in support. Tadic is teasing Conor Randall. Bertrand just gets himself a yard of space. And it's a dangerous ball and Southampton lead inside the first minute. It's Sadio Mane who arrives. It is a dream start for Southampton. It is exactly what Liverpool didn't want to happen. Well, certainly Southampton have started very, very much on the front foot. And it's the build-up down the left-hand side, but you can see there Sadio Mane, he doesn't rest on his laurels. He's on that far post, he's just waiting for that delivery to come in. And it's Bertrand that makes a cross and... Davis. Tadic. He's in behind Conor Randall here. What a dangerous looking ball and the header this time was by Wanyama. Randall. Origi. Allen. That's early looking for Daniel Sturridge, who will receive it. Just forces himself a little wide that perhaps will take the chance away, but Sturridge will go for goal! He's found it! It looked like the chance has gone, but he's back once again, and he's back with a bang once again. He just has a habit of scoring goals, and Liverpool couldn't ask for one at a better time. Well, this is what he's all about, Daniel Sturridge. This is his ability. You thought the opportunity was wasted because that first touch takes him wide, but he's still one and one They don't get across quick enough to give, I think it's Corker, the centre-back, enough cover. And face one-on-one -on -one situation in this sort of area, he loves it, Daniel Sturridge. The little shimmy, the little step over the drop of the shoulder, he's still got an awful lot to do to beat Stecklenburg from that sort of angle and that sort of distance, but he hits it well, he hits it across the... Origi jumping with Van Dijk, Lalana picking up the pieces. Emre Chan. Sturridge wants it again, he's got it again. Sturridge, oh brilliant, absolutely wonderful Liverpool goal. Emre Chan picks out Daniel Sturridge and he is back at the double this time. Absolutely wonderful goal by Liverpool. Well, this is better from Liverpool, this is what football's all about. The early vision, the early pass, the timing of the run to absolute perfection but the timing of the ball the delivery the execution is everything that's perfect about Liverpool it's everything that's perfect about the move and then on the half volley again he's still got quite a bit to do Daniel Sturridge but you just know you just half volley that sort of distance out he ain't going to make a mistake Liverpool 2 on Sturridge again and now he's looking for Lalana and Lalana Surely it was offside, surely it was offside. He was. Here's Sturridge, nothing disjointed about him tonight. Allen. Wanyama's all over him. And Sturridge. And Randall. And Connor Randall. It's deflected behind, it's a Liverpool corner. What a difference. Time. Well, can they get another before half-time? Sturridge was there and it's Van Dijk who got the header. Moreno! Offside. It's three for Liverpool now! Alberto Moreno adds another goal and it is crisply struck. Liverpool, who started awfully, now lead 3 1 and are threatening to run away with it. You're thinking after that, you lose that goal, you're going to absolutely slot your team at half. And this happens. I think that could have been given offside for Divock Origi right in front of the goalkeeper. I think he's in an offside position. It comes through him. He actually might even touch it. Stecklenburg is actually saying that, but he's not offside there. That's the reason why. Here's Ibe. Bertrand coming across. That's on for Origi. Origi goes for goal! Oh, brilliant! Surely that's game over now. And if there was any doubt whatsoever about his first goal, there's absolutely no doubt about that. That's absolutely brilliant from Diva Corrigi. Well, 
We've talked about the willingness for Divock Origi to run the channels, but I didn't think he had this in his locker, I must admit. It's a wonderful pass from young Jordan Ibe, but he's still got an awful lot to do. We talk about going across the goalkeeper, but when you've got the accuracy and you've got the power, just hit the target somewhere. Stecklenburg, absolutely, it flies past him. Here's Joe Allen, who's played a big, big part in Liverpool's comeback in this game. It's on to Origi again. Wanyama is the defender. Origi will hold him and hold him off. Both having a good grapple at each other. Back heel by Origi. It's Alberto Moreno. Liverpool are growing in confidence and they're looking for another extraordinary. Aye! Five for Liverpool. Liverpool in the semi finals of the League Cup for the third time in five years. And Jordan Ive adds another classic goal to Liverpool's cultured collection tonight. Demolition of Southampton, isn't it? Again, Norigi plays his part, he holds off Wanyama exceptionally well, and then the little skill, the little trick. And credit to Alberto Moreno, he's got time, he gets his head up, he picks the right ball. And then young Jordan Ibe, it's a great chest control, it's good technique because it puts it right onto his right foot. You can see here, chest control, Van Dijk gets underneath it and makes it a little bit easier for the young man. It's that control and then the half volley from that sorry angle and distance just hit the target with power. Jordan, you're all coming on, we're resting you. <laughs> Smith. Well, that's for Origi! He's got a hat trick! Wonderful, wonderful ball by young Brad Smith. He's got his first three Liverpool goals tonight. Well, this will do the wonders for young Brad Smith in the first instance. But Divo Origi, a player that really has flitted in and out of the team, mainly in the cup competitions where we've seen him. Liverpool exhibition of finishing. When you think of it, it was a little touch for his first goal. Well, it was, I think it was, though. And then it was a bullet right through shot, and then he hit it up. His manager is well pleased with a simple header from a lovely ball by young Brad Smith. Most grateful is Divo Carigi. One night for him, it's been a wonderful night for Liverpool and the travelling fans. Emily Chan, he might as well have a run. He's not playing at the weekend, he's suspended. And he is going all the way. Mr. Kellenberg makes a save. Well, I think it's probably the first shot that's just imperious. Origi, what a night for him. I just think I've got a for that. Liverpool's biggest win in the League Cup since November of 2000 when they won 8 0 away at Stoke City. But for Jurgen Klopp and his side, what a night. A hat trick for Divock Origi, two for Daniel Sturridge, and one for Jordan Ive. A night to remember means that there will be two nights in the semi-finals. Well, I'm not quite sure what to say. It's been clinical from Liverpool. They started the game as bad as I've ever seen them under Jurgen Klopp. But goals changed games, and the two goals from Daniel Sturridge really got them going. And after that, it was played sailing. I think they dominated after that, and they looked a threat every time they went forward. To think that they got the six goals, yeah, it's fantastic. It's a fantastic performance. It's cup football, though. It's through to the next round, it's through to a semi-final. We wait to see who we get, but we'll see and we'll go forward and we'll enjoy it. The away day assassins strike once again and strike with a vengeance. Southampton 1, Liverpool 6.